Andrew nearly got the chop this week photo BBC Joseph Valente 5 hours Thursday November 9, 2017 Joseph Valente, who won The Apprentice in 2015, gives his view on the new crop of business hopefuls as they attempt to lead guided tours around Bruges. Last night the candidates reached the halfway point in their quest to become Lord Sugar's business partner. Week 6 was one of my favorite weeks on the show. Although our team actually lost the task, I heard the magic words from Lord Sugar you're staying, which was a boardroom first. I saw going back into that boardroom as an opportunity to show Lord Sugar what I was made of, and fight for my place to be there. As several people had to this time too. The good Sarah Lynn is still my one to watch for the final. Her idea on the cut of profits from the chocolate sales is exactly what Lord Sugar would have been looking for. This then allowed Joanna to completely come into her own this week closing that deal showed fantastic negotiation skills. Harrison's thought process on going down the chocolate route proved to be a winning tactic. Don't be modest, when Lord Sugar asks whose idea this was Harrison, stand up and tell him the bad although Team Graphene won again, PM Elizabeth didnt let her to her breathe, constantly bouncing them onto the next place. This week she reminded me very much of Miss Trunchbull. She needs to rein it in. Elizabeth's tour didnt have time to breathe photo BBC this week's boardroom firing was too close to call. Sir Jane had impressed me earlier in the series, but being PM was her downfall and she went down with the ship. This task was lost on souvenirs, was solely down to Jade and Michaela. Being outstanding at sales ISNT enough they need to have the full package. Room for improvement this WASNT a great week for Charles. Although he did manage to step in for Anissa on a few facts he seemed very much out of his depth. As for his claim that we were never lost, I don't think he knew where they were from leaving the house. Anissa was given one task this week and completely failed. Her knowledge of the guided tour was non-existent. That said, I don't feel this was solely her fault. She did speak up on a number of occasions to state she wasnt happy doing this but was ignored. Fighting for their apprentice lives the losing team photo BBC Andrew nearly got the chop this week. He needs to take a step back. Yes, Lord Sugar wants you to make an impression, but this wasnt a lads on tour task. This was all about culture, history and profit. His saving grace was that he was top seller on both the ticket sales and the souvenirs. James once again showed his talent for sales but he needs to keep his ears open to suggestions made around him. His lack of communication with the PM meant he was selling on totally the wrong expectations for the customer, which resulted in a refund in ticket sales and a chip in their profits. The Apprentice Candidates Reviewed by a Former Winner, Week 5 The Apprentice Candidates Reviewed by a Former Winner, Week 4 The Apprentice Candidates Reviewed by a Former Winner, Week 3 The Apprentice Candidates Reviewed by a Former Winner, Week 2 The Apprentice Candidates Reviewed by a Former Winner, Week 1 19 of the Most Outrageous Apprentice Quotes and News. HTTP sinews.co.uk